So one of the biggest, scariest things I ever did was rent my studio in this building a number of years ago. It was, it was way too big. I decided that I was going to uh, um, share it with three people, myself and two others, and uh, because it was so big. And I got in there and I started making tables and uh, sort of thinking about how I could partition this thing. And, and then I just got so used to being in there by myself and I just so enjoyed it um, that I thought, well, maybe I can teach and, and instead of having roommates kind of thing, you know, which I ended up doing. But what occurred because of that space uh, for my work um, was probably the biggest boost for my painting that, I, that I'd ever experienced. And subsequent to, to that move, I had moved from a smaller space into a slightly bigger space a number of years before, and the same thing happened. And what I started to realize was when you move into a bigger space, um, often there is a jump in, in the kind of boldness and the kind of quality of your work. It's a crazy thing. And, and, and now I know this for a fact because I teach this and I witness hundreds, if not thousands of people stepping up and figuring out how to get off their kitchen table, you know, into a corner of a bedroom or a part of a garage and then from a garage into another studio. And so my, my first primary message that I want to say is it's going to be scary. It, it never feels, uh, it always feels too big. It always feels too big. Like it's not necessary. The studio I'm in right now is way too big for me. And this is the second one. <laughs> you know, I have another one upstairs and I got this one and it's too big, but I'm loving it. And it, it also has, has helped me tremendously. So do it if you can, do whatever you can to get yourself more space. If you're feeling it all cramped, it's almost too late, like you should have done it yesterday kind of thing. So, but let me explain what, what's happening. And, I, and this is just my theory as to why work gets better when we get in different studios in bigger spaces. Um, so check this out. Okay, so if you're in a studio this big, you know, and this is you, and you're working on a picture, you you're looking at this thing and this view and this distance and this size this is what's naturally possible this amount of that's what you can see here and you tend to stay in this size box in this you tend to think about things in here this is your window that you're creating things but when your studio becomes bigger, and I'm not saying it's got to get five times bigger, but, and you, your, your art naturally can come, can get bigger because this view, you have more distance here. It doesn't, it's not any harder to get this view. Like this is naturally what you do. It's just that this distance is much greater now. So you have the ability to walk up right close to go back to this view but you also now have this view which is bigger so you have two things going on you have you have a distant view right which is a certain kind of thing you it, you can't notice details it's it's you notice bold things from this distance you notice big problems. You can be more daring from here because you're not worrying about the small stuff. But then you can also go up and have this very close view. But now you have both in this bigger space, right? And because you have both, you've got the difference between this and this, and that's exciting. You've got this huge 50,000 foot view and this tiny micro view, and these are totally different. And when work, when we look at work, when it's got both of those, when we can see it from a distance and it's really strong, and we can get up close to it and it's got amazing details and richness, when both views are working, the work gets better. That's what's happening. That's why when you get, even if you get a space that's two feet wider, the work 
just expands into that. You start getting a difference between these views and that creates a contrast in the work. It creates a contrast in you. It becomes exciting and it's easier and it's dynamic. You know, you're walking up, you're moving back and that's what's happening. So if, it all, if it's at all possible for you to shift where you are, to give yourself, even if you could just clear off more space on that kitchen table, right? Hang things up a little further away. This is the solution. Give yourself spaciousness. You can't believe how much room you can occupy and what happens when you're given that free reign. Give it to yourself. If you're wondering, if you're on the fence, um, maybe you're watching this and you're trying to decide if you want to go for that or not. It's like the biggest, best investment in your art. And it just, it's amazing what will happen. So uh, I just want to encourage you to go for it. <laughs> all right. Um, let me know. Uh, I know we all think about this. We're always looking for better studios. It's always an issue of the cost and, you know, all of that. But um, I, I just love this subject because I know what happens when, when we take the plunge and we go for it. Anyway, so that's how I think about it with these studios, with getting, giving yourself space, treat yourself to spaciousness. It's amazing which, what, what will come in and fill that space. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, your thoughts about this. You know, we're always thinking about it. We're always wondering, should you do it? Shouldn't I do it? Should I, you know, sell my house and move a studio? You know, all these things. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a great thing to talk about and, and, and support each other in. So uh, leave, leave a note in the comments, let us know what you're thinking about your studio and your situation. I'd love to uh, read that. And so would everybody else. Um, we also have a free artist Facebook group, um, the Art to Life free artist group. And there's a ton of great stuff happening in there. Um, you're, anyone, if you're new here, please join us. Um, everyone's welcome. It's really, really cool. Anyway, I hope your Sunday's great, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for being here. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please, join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.